Hi guys, welcome back to the JSTV back again and um, I thought I had to do this video about because of what's going on last night when Newcastle fans got attacked by PSG Ultras. But before we talk about that, make sure you smash the likes and if you're new to the channel like what you watch, then have the currency to have to hit the subscribe button for me if you can, that'd be brilliant. I'm on the road to 7,000 subs, which would be absolutely awesome. And I'll be over the moon if if I hit that target. And yeah, I just want to talk about last night, really. I mean, yesterday, I went to the pub yesterday. I'm not going to mention which one it is, but most people know which one I've been new to. And I mingled with some people, I mixed with some fans. They were absolutely amazing. People know us on Twitter, people know us in public. And we had a fantastic time. And singing, uh, the songs and singing, everything, etc., etc., and everything was cool. I mean, it started quiet because um, because it was really quiet. There weren't many people there, and then it gathered really well and it built up. And then the atmosphere in the pub was absolutely amazing. It really, really is because that's what you want to see. So thousands of Newcastle fans turned up. There's around about twelve hundred in the pub, which is absolutely incredible and a few hundred outside, it may not be that. But last night, I had a tweet last night, a video tweet, half an hour later, because I left the pub at quarter past nine, because I was to get back. I tore down in Pearson and a few others I needed to get back. And all of a sudden, I walked about 50 minutes to the metro, into the train, heading way back up to Chateau Rouge. That's where I stayed. Now, the thing was, Around about 10 minutes after I got on the Metro, I had a video tweet of someone, I'm not going to mention his name, but it, it all kicked off. PSG fans went into the pub, threw flares, and all hell broke loose. Newcastle fans tried to fight back. One of the fans tried to throw a, a pint of beer, a lager, which he attempted to do, but he thought of it not to do it. And then... There was kids in the pub, families in the pub as well. And it didn't look great. It, it was absolutely awful, man. Absolutely awful. And there's absolutely no place for it at all whatsoever. And I'm not going to lie, right? When you've got families in there in the pub, no matter where you're at, and you're going to look for trouble, throwing tables and chairs and flares or whatever, then there's not a good look. Not a good look at all. There's people who might have gone to Paris for the first time, like myself, you know. This is my first time in Paris, and I find the people quite arrogant, or most of them, by the way, yeah? They aren't friendly at all whatsoever. What new? What new? And then when I went to the video, obviously our crew tweeted it, had over 100,000 views on it as well. Obviously, the video got deleted. I didn't delete it, by the way, but someone else might have done, I don't know, but, the tweets I've seen today was absolutely disgusting. One of them called me a bot job, yeah? A bot job walked away, right? Because I didn't know it was going to be trouble. I was always going to go with quarter past half past nine anyway, yeah? And then people call me a bottle job. I just posted out a tweet, by the way, yeah? I called them out, yeah? And I don't normally call people out at all on my channel. I really don't. But that tweet he did absolutely round us up. And I don't normally get round up, by the way, because I act the dignity, dignity and class. But this guy, seriously, man, just wound us up. And you can ask anyone, I don't wind people up. But I could have read it. I wanted to read it. But I thought, no, I'll post it all next instead. It's not going on my channel. I do not want my channel being done with disrepute. Never have, never will. And then one of the tweets said that I spoke to the ultras, told the ultras where they're going to be. No, I did not. I've not spoken to any PSG fan at all since I've been here. I can tell that straight away. I'm not going to mention who posted that tweet. But at the end of the day, it's accusing me of spoken to the ultras, told them where which part they're going to be. Sorry, I'm not having that. I'm not being accused by someone. That's what I haven't done, yeah? But I just hope the fans, 
ex escape talk here. One seriously hurts. I heard rumors that one fan got, got stabbed yesterday, and I hope that guys will care. So, all I've got to say to you guys is if you're going to the match tonight, or if you're going to Boulogne to Berlin crowd, please be in your up your guard, keep safe and well, and stay safe. Because I'm telling you now, these fans, the PSG Ultras, are dangerous, they're hooligans, and they are an effing disgrace. They really, really are. And I'll tell you something now, right? I don't know if I'm going to come back to Paris again. I don't know. Even got to the final of the Champions League, touch wood in future years, and Paris is named, right? And Newcastle's there, then that could be a different matter. But the security has got to be on point tonight because I believe, from my understanding, they ain't going to be an escort the fans into the stadium and I think that's poor it really is poor I think our fans should be escorted in my opinion to be safe rather than wandering the back into the stadium and if you are going to go to the stadium Newcastle fans you probably know this is line 9 do not go on line 10 yeah but like I said I'm going to make my way down to the stadium later on so keep your eyes peeled for that keep, keep an eye out for me on that also I'll be out and about as well and you want to say hi to me, you want a, a selfie, an autograph, then I'll do that for you, 110%. And yeah, but like I said, the tweets I've seen a day, I mean, oh, some of them just so damn negative, right? Oh, and by the way, that same guy called us out, right? People said I'm going to go with him, but he did not reply back. What does that tell you? Calling me a bot job? He was having a go with him. He's not replying back. What is he? I bought a job. There you have it, people. There you have it. But like I said to you, if you can't give it out, if you can't, if you can't prepare to take it back, don't give it out. Because at the end of the day, right, I'll be real, right? You're brave, hiding behind the keyboard. But when it comes to face to face, that's thank you, I bought a job. Because you haven't got the backbone, you haven't got the minerals for it at all. Listen, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to enjoy the match tonight. It's a big game. Let's talk football tonight. It's a massive game. PSG Newcastle United. Yeah, at the Park de Plans. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Because I'm buzzed tonight. I'm buzzed. And I cannot wait to have the fun. And cannot wait to be there tonight. So, guys, tell us what you think. Leave it in your comments in the section downstairs. And do you agree what I'm saying? If I'm wrong... Please let me know. Leave your comments in the comment section. Hit the like, subscribe button if you're new and if you enjoy what we watch as well. And I'll be back in the next one. But tonight, guys, please be safe and stay strong and go in groups. 